Hey everyone, this is Randall from Imperial Minis. Welcome back to the channel. For this game, I'm playing a friend of mine from out of town named Trent at my house. I'm playing what I call my Axel Florent Elephant Man list, and Trent is playing a Baylor Black Tie Greyjoy list. This game is a bit of an army reversal for us, since Trent's main army is Baratheon, and my original army was Greyjoy's. I told Trent that I was excited to try out this Axel Elephant army, so he graciously agreed to play my Greyjoy's for this game. My list was focused around a couple of guiding principles. A, that elephants are fun, and B, that R'hllor lists are also fun. I haven't played Axel Florent much or at all, and he didn't seem terrible for an elephant list. His Fiery Charge Tactics card could help me get a Long Bomb Elephant Charge if the stars align for me, and his Commander Attachment would turn Golden Company Swordsman into a 3-up Panic Test Defying Monsters. I also brought Melisandre for some extra panic damage and the R'hllor affiliation influence and Selyse and Shireen to hopefully resurrect my elephant and turn it into a R'hllor elephant at some point. The idea of a R'hllor elephant tickled me pink and that giddiness is usually all it takes to guide my list building decision making. Trent's list features the durable combo of Silenced Men, the Baylor Black Tide Commander Attachment, and Blind Baron NCU's influence. Trent's Bowmen include the Reaver Captain attachment. I advise against taking the Reaver Captain in favor of another attachment like Brawn, but Trent was dead set on trying out Flank. We'll soon see how that works out. The rest of the list was fairly conventional Greyjoy fare, with some Asher Trappers and Iron Makers led by Carl the Maid for added morale and expert duelist. Carl terrified me a bit since my Axel Florent attachment and my Queensman's Stag Noble were highly valuable in, to my list. For this game, I'm trying an alternate method of choosing the game mode. I found that when my opponent or I just choose the game mode arbitrarily before we begin the game, we either consciously or unconsciously choose a game mode that benefits our army, or one that we're just comfortable with. These decisions usually benefit one player more than the other, or are just not very interesting. So I wanted to introduce a bit more strategy and randomness to the game mode decision making process. What I've done is write the name of each game mode on some spare tactics cards. Before the game begins, I shuffle those cards together and then draw and reveal four of them face up on the table. Each player will then have the opportunity to veto one game mode, and then we'll roll a die to see which of the remaining two game modes becomes our game mode for the game. This process can be mixed up in other ways as well. For example, if you and your opponent really dislike a couple of possible game modes, you can agree to remove those game modes from the deck entirely prior to drawing and revealing your four cards. I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has tried something like this. I found it a fun process that added a small amount of strategy before even deploying our armies. I hope you all enjoy this new game mode selection process and the game in general. With that, on with the show. Okay, so we're going to pick our game mode now, and we're going to do the uh, kind of alternate way of uh, picking a game mode that I think is a little more fun and interactive rather than just randomly picking something. So I'm going to pick, I've put all the game modes here, and we're going to take four random game modes from here, and then each of us is going to get a veto, and then for the last two that are left, we're going to roll a d6 and uh, see which one we play. So Trent, you've got the first veto. Okay. I'm going to take out uh, Winds of Winter. Okay. I will take out Clash of Kings, just because we've played it recently. And then I'll roll a d6. Uh, if it's 1 to 3, we're going to play Dance with Dragons. And 4 to 6 of the Game of Thrones. Alright, Game of Thrones it is. Okay, so we're playing Game of Thrones. And for the five objectives, this one right here is... When you score a point from this objective, one friendly unit in long range restores one wound plus one for each destroyed rank. This one is when you score points, one enemy in long range becomes vulnerable. The center objective is while you control this objective, you gain uh, plus one hand size and you can draw a plus one card when refilling your hand. This one over here. One friendly unit in long range can shift three inches. And this final one over here, 
is while controlling, you attack with your highest attack die value. So I am first player. I'm gonna start off by putting Celise and Shireen on the letter. Drawing two. And I will put a Weekend on the sounds one. And then uh, they will influence influence the elephant. I will start with um, Eric the Iron Maker, and he will go like this on the horse, and I can give out a token. Yep, I'll give it to Iron Makers. Okay. And also, I guess, what's their speed? Five. Do a maneuver. Uh, okay. I just kind of want to see the ranges mm -hmm. here. So fully within means I, I've got to the like whole keep tray them within six in. inches. Yeah. Okay. So if I was to do this, maybe. And I'm not sure if you can deploy in in my deployment zone. Right. So I'd have to. I think be... you'd have to be outside of my deployment zone. Okay. Um. Do I just go with that? That is the question. I think I am. You're going to do that? Yeah. Okay. So they still get an activation now, this round? So that's what I'm not do sure. Okay. Do you mind? I haven't figured that out. Do you mind Googling yeah. that? Yeah, unit outflanking is not activated. Okay. This is what Reddit says. That's Do you want me to look me. at? No, nah, okay. I mean, that's, that's good enough for me. It has the exact same. It's it's a guy asking about Greyjoys okay. for their outflank. Um, when deploying this unit, you have to follow the rules. Okay, yeah, so it's just that's my turn. I don't get the maneuver because I'm deploying them. I put these guys a hair too far forward and move yeah, like 10 no inches. I think we're used to uh, Legion with the mm -hmm. rapid reinforcements. Right. Where they come on activated. I right. We just, at least I have that in my mind all the time. Okay, so they outflanked over there. Mm hmm. My next activation, I'm going to take Melisandre and drop her oh, no. on the crown. Do the double panic Roni. Yeah. So uh, she'll influence... Queensman. Probably, yeah. So <laughs> she'll influence them. The Queensman, they take two wounds. But minus one from the panic test, right? Because of the dragon so, so noble. Oh, you mean the stag knight? Yeah. Does, yeah, does so he minus one from panic, or does he get a wound back when he passes a panic? No, he doesn't have dauntless. So okay. he has iron resolve. So their their morale for panic test goes up by one. Okay. They take one fewer wound. And then if they're engaged with somebody, um, you take a wound if they pass a panic test. Okay. And then they have go down fighting. So when they lose a rank, uh, someone they're engaged with takes a wound. Okay. Uh, so they'll take... I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the camera on for this because we're gonna have like three panic tests here. 
Okay. All right, so my Queensman uh, took two wounds from Melisandre, and they have to take a panic test. They're saving right now on four. So they're good. So they passed the panic <laughs> test. And um, since they passed their panic test, I'm going to play Baratheon Conviction, okay. which is in my hand, which allows them to restore two wounds. So they're going to get their wounds back. Okay. And then... Uh, as a result of the crown, we'll have the um, bowman take a panic test, just a normal crown panic test at minus one. Okay. So they're normally an eight, I believe. Yeah. I'm going for nines. Yep. Nice. All right. And then uh, the Melisandre panic test is minus two. minus two and plus two wounds. Okay. So you take four. Okay. Could have been worse. Yeah. Snake guys. Could have been a two on um, two ranks. Is oh three. really? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I think you're six six four I'm over here. If I remember so correctly. I'm gonna... Cool. Yeah. I didn't even know that. And then breath and conviction goes in my discard pile. Okay. Um, in that case. Okay, I'll place Balon on the bag. Okay. And get three back. Okay. I'll activate Axel and the Golden Company. Okay. They're gonna march. Stop right there. Okay. So faster than your average Baratheon army. Yep. So these guys are gonna um, march. Okay. To get to one inch. Right like that. Okay. I'll activate the light bringers. Do the same thing. They're in line with these guys, so they have the same movement speed. So they're just going to move up like that, I think. They'll shift. Make sure they'll go up. Not quite. Uh, yeah, they'll go up like eight inches, so they could shift up to shoot if they need to. Okay. So they've activated. Swords haven't been taken. So I can yellow these guys up and not worry about uh, some. Mm -hmm. I feel slightly naked only having two NCUs. I'm, yeah, I'm like, I'm this really is rare. To... I've never, I don't know if I've ever, I think I've played you once with two mm -hmm. NCUs and I was just like, <laughs> you always do really well with your NCU play. So um, they're at five, so they're going to march 10. Okay. Oh, and okay, no. And the elephant cannot lose health from a panic test? It can. It can only take a maximum of two wounds from a panic test. Okay. And it can't score it can't um, score objectives. Okay. It has okay. eight wounds. That's good to know. Yeah. Eight wounds can't score objectives. Um, maximum of two wounds from failing a panic test. So I'll activate the elephant. He's within long range of the other Golden Company units, so he doesn't have to worry about taking a morale test. And he's going to move up just to be in line with his homies. We'll okay. Stop there. I will do... So, start of any turn and start of a friendly turn, same, same keyword? Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Timing. So, I'll do start of any turn and... 
play black type resentment. So this just goes away if they get healed mm-hmm. for whatever reason. If they restore any wounds. Yeah, at all. Okay. I'll just throw it on these guys. And I'll move him up. Tim. Okay, the Queensman, just gonna march straight march forward like good Baratheon soldiers do. Okay. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. Well, didn't think you'd catch that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so these guys are gonna um, maneuver, I think. They have five. And you're done, skis? Yeah, I'm all done. Okay. Um, and then I will claim the swords. And we'll go for this into the butt cheeks. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should shift. I want to shift closer, but then you may just get sick of me and turn around and just go and spank him real quick. <laughs> um, but... I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to shift them forward two inches. Okay. So six dice on fours. Okay. So Bowman attacking the Queensman in the flank. Six dice on fours with three rolls. Five saving on fours. Mm, not bad. So take three, um, and then with their order, um, they'll pop their order to pull Brathian conviction. Actually, I should probably pull it out of my. It's yeah. when they get attacked, or is it? They yeah, attack. All right, so. Um, I pulled out Breath and Conviction. Now these guys are going to take a panic test on shooting me in the flank. So um, my Iron Resolve is just kind of negated, basically. Uh, the plus one for my Iron Resolve. So they go from a four plus to just a five plus. Whew, okay. So they pass. And then since they passed, I'm going to play Breath and Conviction. Okay. And they'll heal two moves back. One wound overall. Yep. Just in that one wound. Damn it. Damn it. And then that's it. That's all for me. Okay. So I think what I am going to do is I'm going to take Baron Black Tide, um, and I will place him on the swords. Okay. And I will influence. Oh wait, I can only. Is but this isn't an influence. That's not an influence. Yeah, no. but this is an influence. Yep. So I'll influence them. So mm-hmm. when they get that, I'll let you get that juicy elephant charge off. And. I'll play Star of a Friendly Turn, if that's okay, mm-hmm. which I you know I already did yeah. the turn, but um, 
I, how many cards can I put on them? Can I put finger dance on them as well? Yeah. Okay. Give them finger dance, which will just, I mean, that's only one rank. It's one right? rank, yeah. So they'll have it until you get them down to one rank. So if they attack him, then you'll become vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then... What's the trigger? That's the start of the friendly turn. Start of friendly turn that you played? Yes, okay. the start of a friendly turn. Okay. Uh, and then on these guys, is it possible for me to shift to get into a rear? I don't think you're remotely close it's enough. It's impossible. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're just going to... Scoot up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to shift even closer. Okay. And, uh, you know, raise our kilts. <laughs> Braveheart style and try and... Seduce the queen's men mm -hmm. into their loving embrace. And we'll go for a attack again. Six die. Okay. Um, before you do that, I'll draw a card. Draw Breath and Conviction out again. Okay. Is it from your deck or from... It's, it's from my discard. So both of them are in my discard pile now. Okay. Okay, so bowmen are attacking the queen's men. Same attack as last time. Six dice in the flank on fours with rerolls. Same exact attack as last time, too. I think you only got two in the first ones. In yeah. Man. Not so hot. Not so hot. Okay, so I'm on fours. Nice. So take one. And then I'll we'll back two. If I use Breath and Conviction, um, yeah. which I think I'm just going to hang on to it in my hand, honestly. So they'll take one wound from the attack. Okay. And then... Uh, panic on a five plus. Let's see if this if they bomb this 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 then maybe I'll use it. Mm, they actually take zero because they have iron resolve, so they take minus one wound from failing panic test. Okay. So um, they just take a total of one wound. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna activate Silice and Shireen. Okay. I'm gonna put them on the horse. Okay. They're gonna influence the elephant again. Okay. And then I am, so I used this order already. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna maneuver these guys. I'm just gonna run the other direction. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to waste my one revive on Bowman that can't even with three attacks or two attacks? Yeah, so now you'd have to roll a five or a six or mm -hmm. do the fiery charge, which. If you expend a fiery charge on Bowman to it's go into it. the back corner of the map, mm -hmm. I would say that's worth it to me instead of right. getting it on, on here. I'll take Melisandre. Okay. And I will drop her on the bag. Okay. Eric Ironmaker will get a pillage. Yep. I will restore two to these guys. And then... She'll influence them. Okay. Take two wounds back. Okay. Roll a panic test. They need a four. They're good. I think they're good. Yeah, they're outside of that. You've and been like right on the edge. Of those yeah, I have. Rolls I have. I've been like one or kind two. Kind of crazy. 
okay. and then I'll have her panic. So if they crit fail it, they'll get to, they'll still be at six. That's the thing is like this all these morale is like really good. Yeah. So I will attempt to panic these guys. Okay. So, so they're not souped up on uh, pillage yet, so they're just they'll take they're five plus like everything you have okay. over there. So seven plus. So it'll be a seven plus. Yep. Yeah. You can just do it here. I don't have the camera. I'm just gonna do it for habit. Okay. Ooh, hey, you barely made it. All right, got that three. Lucky. Though. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, um, sorry. Do you mind? Um, actually, I'll hang on to my. I have the Baratheon conviction in my hand, um, but I'm just gonna hang. Heal back it. the two. You nah, can. I'm you just can gonna hang on to want. it. I mean, these guys are Relor. These guys are Relor. I might need it for one of them. Okay. So I'll just hang on to it. Um. So here's a question. Mm -hmm. If I expert duelist, oh, he's over here, so never mind. Oh, that's what I need to do. Start of a friendly turn. That's what I'll do right now. Mark target. War cry? Yeah, war cry. Good. So I get a vulnerable and a panic? So, uh, yep, panic and vulnerable. I'll do the swordsman. Okay. Okay. But then I will activate these guys. Mm -hmm. I think we will go ahead and charge the Oliphant okay. of Doom. I just need a yeah. three. One, two, three. Yep. Hey, yeah. there's the Greyjoy dice All right. that I am used to. <laughs> uh, viewing from the other side of the table <laughs> extremely <So>. pleasantly <laughs> so you roll a one so that means you move six inches stop and then can i even move six just your pants yeah i think you're well out of one inch of me okay, okay. and then piss yourself pass oh just barely okay <laughs> Only front trunk is salivating with the feast to come. Wow. Yeah. And that was their activation. Mm -hmm. they take all this mess with them. All right, I am going to I'm going to activate the swordsman. Okay. They are going to charge the silencement. Okay. Let's see what we get here. All right, roll 2. So they get in. Um, I hit this wall. Yeah. So um, just lose your charge bonus. I lose my I lose my re rolls and I get plus um, one to defense. Yeah, so you go from a five to a right. You're a five, right? Yeah. yeah, you go from five to four, but I have sundering, so you go back to a five. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, sundering. yeah. So all all I lose really is my re rolls. Okay. Um, and then Axel has intimidating presence. Let's see what else do I have here? Uh, not going out. Not going out. Okay. So I think it's just going to be a normal attack. Mm -hmm. All right, so Golden Company Swordsman charging into the Silenceman. Seven dice on threes. Nice. All right, pretty good for not getting rerolls. So five. You're saving on fives. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you missed two. So I take two. But, um, so I think Hardened comes into play first. Let okay. me... Double check. After rolling defense dice, unit box one hit plus an additional one for each of its destroyed ranks. So it's just one hit. 
okay. from hardened. So you take so one hit from hardened. Yeah, and then and because yeah, of Baron, ones. because of Baron. Okay, wait. So you you still you failed all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you failed all of them. So hardened blocks one, and then because of Baron Black Tide, you take only two wounds instead of four. And then you'll be a panic on um, minus one because uh, Axel has intimidating presence. Okay. So I'm at a six. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so just take, uh, what was that, two wounds? Mm -hmm. These trappers are going to scream and charge valiantly into the light bringers, into the bringers of light. So they're at a, what, a three One, or four? Two, three, four, I think. Mm hmm. Okay. Greyjoys, they, um, yeah, if you're in range for charging, <laughs> that's for bowmen. Nice. All right, so you got but it. I don't get it, or I don't get the bonus. Yeah, charge through it. Um, oh, sorry. I'm good. Okay. Um, so, I mean, Asha doesn't give anything special other than mark target, right? She just gets Warcry morale. and your morale is five. That's all. Okay. Uh, so, you're just six dice on fours, I think, right? Or are you threes? I think it's fours. Fours. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, trappers charging into the Lightbringers. Lightbringers or trappers have six dice on fours, no rerolls. Mm, pretty good. So four. And I'm saving on. I think I'm saving on fours, right? Uh, yeah. Fours, yeah. Okay. So I'm saving on fours. So okay. I take two. Uh -huh. And then uh, for panic test, they are six up, I think. Six. Six up. Nice. And they're good. Um, they passed the panic test, so I'm going to play Baratheon Conviction to heal those two back. Okay. Well, you have it in your hand, or you're going to use the order? No, I have it in my hand. Okay. So I, I drew it from these guys before. Okay. Before. Okay. Okay. Um, turn that off. So I had drawn Baratheon Conviction. When these guys got attacked, but I chose not to use it. Okay. So I'm going to play it now when a friendly unit passes morale test. They heal two wounds. Stay at full. Just stay at full. Um, if I control... Yeah, I don't have any of the zones. Um, yeah. So this goes back in, the, in there. Okay. Um, and then... Yeah. Just leave it that so they... That's good. Oh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just march. Well, you just attack with him. Just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so they've gone, they've gone. They've gone. Yeah, it's it's just, um, it's just them and then you two NCUs. Okay. And what do you got? You got a panic test and that. All right. I was really hoping to be able to have stripped this off by now. Um, so my elephant could do a little bit more, have a little bit more of an impact. So I'll activate the light bringers. Okay. They're gonna retreat. Okay. So roll a d6. Nice. They got a six. So that means they can go a total of eleven <laughs> yeah. inches if they want. Um, Just off the board and yeah, they back to about that one. So let's see how far that could get me here. That still puts them in range of like the trappers if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so that's what they're going to do. They're just going to go all the way back. 
Okay. What's their morale? Their morale is a six plus. Okay. And the elephant's morale? It's a six plus, but right now it's a five plus because they're being influenced by Silesian and Shireen and they, um, if they pass a morale test, one enemy it's engaged with suffers one wound, but they're not engaged right now. Okay. I will place um, Eric the Iron Maker on the letters. Okay. And give a pillage token to Silent Spin. Mm -hmm. And, oh, in place any one condition, I'll go ahead and put... So how does the elephant work? Do, will, um, will a weaken matter on it? A weaken will matter because they roll four attack dice, uh, but they get one automatic... They get plus one attack die for each of your ranks. So if I were to charge these okay. guys, they get seven dice. Okay. Seven dice on a three. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. I think I'll do that. Okay. So we can the elephant? Yeah. Okay. I've just got two activations. I've got the elephant and I have the Queensman. Just go with the elephant and we'll charge the silenceman. Okay. Roll for the charge. Got a six. Whoa, so, stop. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Sleep it in there like that. Okay. And then I'm rolling seven dice on threes with vicious. Okay, so the elephant. Mm. Elephant's rolling seven dice on threes. Three rolls. Okay, okay. three roll. Weaken it all. Weaken it all. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. So, uh, so four. And so I hardened. don't roll defense dice. You don't roll defense dice. Harden doesn't come into into play because you don't roll any defense dice. Right. So Baron still takes effect. So you take two wounds. Okay. And then uh, panic. On a vicious, vicious seven, but but with their pillage ability, they take one fewer wound for each pillage you have from uh, panic. Okay, so I'm going for seven. Seven, yep. Yeah. I'll leave it. That was pretty <laughs> awesome, and you're good. good. Okay. Are you done, Skis? I still, you still have, have the Queensman. Queensman. Okay. I'll take these guys. Just and going I for it. Just charge. Okay. To get onto this token for scoring. Actually. So we'll go with the 10, mm -hmm. and then we'll rotate like that. Oh, Lord. And you'll take, uh, what was it, D3 plus 1? Yep. You want to roll it or you want you to? Roll it. Unlike your guys, your magnetized guys, mine will magnetize facing forward. So right. just always remember that. Right. Yeah, I've tried putting it on backwards <laughs> and it's like, what is, what is this? Tomfoolery. Right. Three, three wounds from the stakes. Okay. Well, at least that's the last you have to worry about the stakes because I assume you're not going back. Hopefully. Backwards. We're not going <laughs> to. Just. <laughs> Do our jazzercise exercise mm -hmm. over the stakes like we did last night. 
Okay, so Queensman. Do you turn to face the salt tide? Face. Or do you chase the bowman? Do I face the off of the map? <laughs> the <laughs> attachment killer? Or do I hopelessly chase around the, the bowman? <laughs> then I'm just gonna be resurrected. <laughs> I mean, I think the play for them, I know their attachment is going to either get killed in the next round or, you know, in the subsequent rounds after that. But, I mean, they're, they exist to just take, like, to tank. So it doesn't make any sense for them to chase a unit that can run faster than them. Okay. So um, I guess the question is, I mean, there really is, isn't much question. I um Pretty much just need to lock into these guys. Okay. So they're just gonna. Do I need? Do you usually put these pillage on your unit card? Or on no, I usually unit? stick it behind because otherwise I'd forget about it. Okay. I just put it behind. See, I just do it. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. Either way. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Rotate and face yeah. the salt tide. Relinquish fine butt cheeks to face that way. Um, what was that like? That was, yeah, so they were just flip 360 like that and move four inches. All right, just going to do that. That is it for me. Okay. Phelan Greyjoy will take the crown. And I'll play We Do Not Sew. Okay. And because you have the bag, do I want that, though? Because if I heal, then I lose Black Tide Resentment, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I want... That's a tricky situation. What, what is better, to be full health and have seven attack dice, or to have, I think it's plus one to hit and one attack die for each of its destroyed ranks, so I'd be at six attack dice on a two, or seven attack dice on a three. What's the math there? Is this the uh, Julie Roberts meme of all the equations on yeah. the, the gif of uh, equations bouncing around? Um, I think it's... Well, what's the, what's the question? Is Do you heal them and lose Black Tide Resentment? Or right. And then have a better chance of... Because you're going to have three, four, five attack dice on the... You know what? No, this, he only gets a, he only gets extra attack die when he's charging. Okay. So he, if he's just sitting there stationary with them, he only gets four. I think we're just gonna YOLO. You I know what? Care. We're not gonna heal. What I forgot was these guys before they have intimid he has intimidating presence, mm -hmm. um, which would have dropped their, given them a minus one, an additional minus one to their their morale. Okay. I think they would have failed it, but I forgot it, so I'll have to remember that next time. Okay. I can't remember what they made. I think they just barely got it. I think they got, they had to roll a seven, um, a seven I think, and I think they rolled a seven. Because you rolled a six and then like a one. Okay. But yeah, I can I'll have to the second I'll just have to remember to that. Be honest, honest. But. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to leave it and do six die on twos. You doing the silence, man? Yeah. Okay. Six die on twos, and because of finger dance, uh, the elephant would become vulnerable. Um. Okay, so we do not sow silencemen attacking the elephant with six dice on threes. Twos. On twos because, because of, of black tide resentment. Um, and they are weakened, but they have slumber. Okay, so just missed one. Do you want me to re-roll these or? Yeah, you can re-roll this. Okay. 
use the weekend token. Wow, nice. look at that. Okay, so three. Mm -hmm. I'm on fours. Do you want me to re-roll the one? Uh, yeah, go ahead and re-roll. Okay, so use the vulnerable. Okay, so I take three. And then uh, panic on a five. Yeah, I'm a five. Normally I'm a six, but they are influenced by solution tree. And silence and infamy, good. does that do anything? Yeah, that reduces my um, my morale by one. Okay. So I actually go from a five to a six. And I rolled exactly a six. So and you had, okay. Yeah, so I, I passed. Cool. Since I passed, I think you take a wound. So I gain plus one to morale test, and each time it passes morale test, one enemy it's engaged with suffers one wound. So okay. you take one wound back. And he took, how many? Did he, he took two he took or all three. three. He took three. Because I weakened the one you saved. Right, okay. So he takes three. Oh, no. Mm. Okay, I'm done. Yep, I'm done. So uh, scoring, Elephant doesn't score. Um, you have the center objective, so you score one from that. I think that's it. And then let's see, so you hold that one. So now because you have that, you have plus one tactics hand size, and you can draw plus one card when refilling your hand. OK. I'm going to discard a couple cards. I'm going to discard Sustained Assault, and I'm going to discard Relore's Wrath, which takes me to two, so I'm going to draw one. So in the interest of time, I'm going to try to like not overanalyze this. Okay. Um, I'm going to take Selyse and Shireen. I'm going to put them on the horse. Okay. And I'm going to retreat my elephant back. Okay. Um, and then they're going to influence. They'll influence the elephant. And let me start a turn. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, start of a friendly turn, I'm going to do Ashes. It's a morale test, right? Yeah, it's just a morale test. Good. Uh, I think it was the yeah, five, it was the, right? Yeah, you got eight. You're good. Okay. So vulnerable in a panic. Can I do mix it up or is it? No, it's it's read it. I think it's one unit. Like give a panic and vulnerable to like target. I think it says like right. target if an enemy okay. unit. They become panicked and vulnerable. Pick one enemy unit. Yeah. So you can pick any line. They're all they're all within long range. Okay. Um, I will do the. Queensman. Okay. And I think I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to take the swords. Okay. I'm going to influence yep. those guys. And if I shift, am I in range? The butt cheeks. Yeah, I think so. Here, let me, um, I'll push them up two inches. Yeah, two inches is a lot. Depends on what you do with it. Do you want to go the whole two yeah, or the just, whole two, just the as tip? As far or? as I can. Okay. And then you're definitely good. Okay. Um, and is that in? I think that's like comfortably in the, in the rear. Okay. Um, so I'll, I will attack with them. Okay. Start of a friendly turn. I will play Black Tie Resentment on the Iron Makers. So haven't you already done a start of friendly turn effect with? Uh, I did. With an order. Warcry. Yeah. A war cry. Okay. Since you're attacking, I'm going to pull Brathian Conviction out okay. of my discard pile. Okay. And we're going to do. Yeah. You want an area? Yeah, let me uh, um, this thing up. 
six on fours, three rolls. Uh, is it just called rear charge, or what? What's the rear charge? It's flanking, and then it's a rear attack. Just rear. Okay. Okay. So the bowman shooting the queensman in the rear. Six dice on fours with three rolls. Nice. Did you get rerolls? Yeah, no, I'm just. <laughs> there you go. That's a little bit better. So five. five. And now I'm on fives because they're shooting in the rear. I'll vulnerable those three. Okay. All right, so take all of them. So take five wounds there, and then panic. They are normally a five. They're a four with the stag, um, stag noble. So now they go to a six because you're getting shot here. Oof. I'll leave it. Okay. So they take two more. So they take a total of two, four, seven. And I am going to play nothing. Okay. Because it's melee attack. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at something else too, but I don't have the zones well, that would need for it. <laughs> Just turn around and backhand. <laughs> so I, that was six, seven. So go down to here. Did you take into account your minus one wound from your panic? No, I forgot that. Thank you. So instead of seven, I take six. Um, okay, I'm gonna take Melisandre. Okay. Put her on the bag. Okay. Remove the panic from these, these guys, put three more on them. Okay. You know, on the one hand, like, it feels good to be able to take the bag to heal yourself, but then I can't, I always can't shake the feeling like I'm just getting, like, more and more on the back foot, you know? Because yeah. instead of being able to do something proactive, like, you're just, it's like a reactive turn. Welcome to Brad. <laughs> <laughs> you're basically always reacting. Yeah. Like, you, unless you have the chance, it's like, you're just reacting and mm -hmm. hoping that you get some good saves and stuff. Yeah. Um... So, oh, can I do the start of any turn now? Yes. Black Tide on Iron Maker. Same thing on them, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay to have yeah. the same card? On yeah, yeah. On okay. two different units, yeah. Okay. Um, so, Melisandre is taking that. I will influence the Bowman. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, risk the Queensman. I could risk have that minus in, one, but they're already so low. But I mean, I, I pulled a Brachian conviction that I didn't use. So oh, okay. if they pass the panic test, I could heal the wounds back. But if I catastrophically fail it, I would be like, <laughs> you know, spreading my cheeks for you. <laughs> so I'm just going to play it safe. Just double gripping. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two wounds to the one. light bringers and I'll take a panic test to them. Um, <laughs> They're on a six. six. Okay, so I fail it. I take two more. And then the, I will... The dots macabre with mm -hmm. Melisandre. Um, and I'm going to Melisandre bomb the Silenceman. Okay. So I'm on a four. So you're on a... Seven. You're a... Five, three. 
What do you? I got one pill. Oh wait, no. Sorry. That just reduces the number. Yeah. yeah. So you're a five. Yeah. Um, six. But a seven. six because of that, and then or a six, seven, seven, eight. Okay. So you're an eight. I'm in danger. You've been like rolling like a champ on these uh, panic panic rolls though. Except for now. Oh. All right. So three. Oh, that's so plus one wound, but damage. minus one. So those even Cancel balance. Off. Yeah. So you just take three. So you take three, and then well, you, it's plus two, right? Uh, so yeah, you're right. Say? Yeah, you're right. So it's uh, plus two wounds, plus three wounds. So it's plus two wounds. Yeah. So it's it's that, um, and then Baron's influence goes away. Ouch! My balls. They hurt. Well, these fine lads. I'm gonna get this away because it triggers me. Seeing it on the unit. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to summon Baron Blacktie back into my pool and then reuse him. Um, what do they roll? That's not great. That's actually pretty good. Okay. So I will, with my lads, the lads, go ahead and just swing at these filthy... Westerosi exiles? Yeah. Like unwanted, <laughs> like degenerates. Traitors? Yeah. Um, so because of the finger dance... You don't get it. You don't get finger dance here. Oh. Because I, I outrank you. Oh, well, then there's a negative when an enemy with the right. same one more. Oh, when you attack, when I attack same, you, I become vulnerable. you become vulnerable. Okay, okay. I'm thinking of, sorry, I'm thinking of Black Tide Resentment. So instead of rolling a four, I'll roll a five, six. Yeah, because now you get both of those, right? Oh, yeah. So it's, so it's vicious. It's plus one attack dice, plus one to hit. Okay. So yeah, so I get both of those. I will also play Kraken's Wrath, okay, which gives me precision. And because you have the bag, you become vulnerable, which you're already vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's keep track of all this. So you're, how many? You get plus how many attack die? So I'm at four. Okay, you're I get at plus four. one per missing rank. So okay. I'm at six, six. six attack die. Okay. I have Sundering. Yep. So I have plus one to hit, and then I get vicious from the second black tie resentment. Okay, and then Kraken's Wrath gives you uh, precision. Precision. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, so you've got six dice mm -hmm. on twos, vicious, sundering, precision. Yes. Okay. Let okay. Me... So, Silencemen attacking Golden Company, six dice on twos, sundering, vicious, precision. Did I get all that? Yes. On, okay. on twos because of black tide resentment. Right. They get the plus one to hit and okay. plus one die per missing rank. Okay. Um, okay. Woof. Oh! <laughs> Maybe it's just the gray joys because this is the luck I have when I play playing. It is, it is the luck you have when you Or it's just these the, dice. Oh, that was a three. Okay, so two. Yeah, um, that's a... That's a uh, it's definitely a Randall roll, like a Randall Grigio roll. Yeah, definitely. Um, so Sundering... I'll take it, though. So you're on a five? I'm on a five. You know, I'm going to roll on the bullet. Okay. Mm. All right. So it's a two. And then Panic on a... Um, so it just negates the stalwart, basically. So um, they're normally a, a five plus with... Um, so they're six plus, but they have iron resolve, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it takes them to a five plus. So yeah, I think there's just, just a five plus one. Okay. Well, actually, no, they're going to be a they're going to be a six plus. plus. Um, yeah. So vicious um, takes away the stalwart basically. Okay. But you have a pillage token, so that radiates a minus one around you. Yep. So instead of being, I would have been a three, so then I'd be a five, and I'd be a six. Okay. So I'm a six. And I have a panic token. 
Um, I will but you do probably want to re roll yeah. that, yeah. Okay. Okay, so take one wound. Plus one Plus, because of the pillage token. Um, yes. Is that what it is? Um, no, it's it's I lose I lose morale and you take fewer wounds. Okay. Right. Yeah, this unit suffers. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Sorry. no, 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 it's from here. Plus, uh, so this attack gains vicious, and if the defender fails a painting test, they suffer one wound for each of my destroyed ranks. So it's okay. actually four. Okay. So this would be so a two. Six total wounds. So this would be a two. Uh, Minus. Alex's. So, so this is a two normally. Um, Iron Resolve makes it a one. Okay. And then because of Black Tide Resentment, I take two more. Kraken, uh, yeah, Black Tide Resentment. Okay, so I take two more from that. So that would be a th three Panic Wounds. Yeah. And then on top of that, so that's five. Five total wounds. Okay, I think we got this. Yeah, first. that was yeah, a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday night. <laughs> For my little peanut brain. Away. If only like that. that roll had not been so fucking atrocious. I mean, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was like that was that was terrible. So if you had, I mean, I'm sure you knew this, but if you had the swords, then I would have gotten re rolls mm -hmm. and precision. Yep. That's kind of the cool thing about the Kraken's that Kraken's card. That card's insane because like dang. usually those synergy cards, like it's like you must have this, this, and this. But yeah. that card, it's if you have this, you get this. This if good. They thing. have this. Like, you get this good thing. Yeah, it's like all good. good. Yeah, it's all good. I'm like, dang. Um, I'm gonna grab a beer. Because I think this is only my second one, I think. Yes. So I think I think the smart move is to charge the the Queensmen into your Iron Makers. Because otherwise they're gonna get charged by the Iron Makers or by the trappers, and then they're gonna just hang in in range of these guys. Um, I mean they can still shift up and probably get in range of them honest but um, yeah I mean I think I need to attack with them before they get sniped and can I already do so Asha in this turn you um, did Asha oh. yeah I think you did yeah. Asha and you put it on um, no they already had it you put it, on these, it on, the you put it on these guys yeah attacks. and then they use yeah, both and use both yeah okay. okay yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna activate them. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not feeling these uh, Greyjoy dice. I'm like really butthurt <laughs> after that Quadra Snake Eye. That was a really unlucky. Like you had the most like <laughs> like two plus hits. <laughs> you had like the most erect one one rank attack ever. <laughs> yeah, I was full mast and ready, <laughs> and just instantly inverted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Full mast, and then you saw your parents <laughs> naked. <laughs> <laughs> A single tear just fell down my cheek. All right, they're gonna charge the iron makers. They're oh. good. Um, yeah, I don't like Randall with Baratheon die. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of pissing me off. <laughs> well, that's good news for me. So yeah, you're still in their in their cheeks. It is. It is a rear. Or is it just... No, you're still in their rear. And okay. Safely in their rear, yeah. You might have to scoot up, like, like a couple millimeters. Yeah, but no, you're, it's fine. You're a shift. There. Yeah. Okay. So they're attacking their... Um, stag. None of that's going to help me. Yeah, these guys don't really have anything offensive going for them. All right, so the Queensmen are charging the Iron Makers. They have six attack dice on threes with rerolls. No other keywords. Uh, the Iron Makers currently have one pillage, so they'll be saving on threes. Mm -hmm. So that's all good. Reroll this miss. Okay. I'll weaken all that. You wish. <laughs> oh, and an eye for an eye. Yeah, you save it all. All right. No damn guys to wait for these guys, because I'm pretty sure these are the four ones. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you probably know 
what's happening it's about now. To happen. The dreaded Carl assassination. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's film this one. Okay. Okay. So Carl is going to attempt to assassinate my stag knight noble. He can use a three, three up. Got him. All right. He goes away. Place him. Let's do this right. Put the banner. Where do they to put three on sevens with critical blow? So the Iron Makers attacking the Queensmen. Seven dice on threes with critical blow. This is actually really dumb. What? Attacking him? Yeah. Okay. Or is it? Oh my goodness. So nine? Okay. Alright, I am saving on threes. Oh, um, what? Um, you don't have any ranks to destroy. Correct. What am I thinking? Oh, I was thinking finger dance. Mm. So on threes. Mm. Arch. So I take four. And uh, panic on a five. Yeah, my uh, noble's gone, so five. Nice. Pass that. So, um, that's a four. These guys go. These guys go. Okay, so I'm going to play. Okay. So I'm going to play a couple cards because okay. they have different triggers. So I, so this may come into effect. So when would I get a pillage token? Because Once it's the, after the attack. Yeah. So after, after I complete a melee attack. Okay. So here, so we'll do this. So, so I took four wounds. Mm -hmm. okay, so I took four. After I pass a friendly morale test, okay. I'm playing Baratheon Conviction. Okay. Um, I just restore two. Okay. The attack is now complete, so okay. you remove you one the... rank, so you get a pillage token. Okay. And then after the enemy completes an attack, I'm going to play Baratheon Justice to give you Panicked and Vulnerable. Oh, okay. I thought you were about to, like, final strike me. No, I thought about it, but it's Drags it's only four, it's four hits. Um, you know, I'm not so that, that is a good question, though. If you were to play final strike, which I'm pretty sure is after an enemy completes an attack. Mm-hmm. And the pillage token is after you complete an attack, yeah. add a pillage token. Because that would make a difference if I'm rolling on yeah. threes or twos. Like which, which comes um, first? I think you still get the pillage token. I don't know. Then like like before so. your final strike would go? So. Okay. Just curious. Makes a bit of a difference. Okay. So... Um, Panic and vulnerable to these guys. And they're all juiced up now. Oh yeah. Then your turn. That was my turn, right? I attacked you. Oh no, yeah, that's right, you clap back. Yeah, just immediately attack back with Carl and then. Okay. Uh, Which I think I got like hasty on, but. You got what? I got hasty on that. Oh, on that attack there? Yeah, I think I, I probably should have either charged. Yeah, I, th I think it would have been better to shoot you first yeah. again, or char try and charge the Lightbringer so they don't get a free attack, mm -hmm. or just play an NCU to get cards so I can maybe defend against something. Yeah. But I just, I saw the Queensman low, and I saw Carl, and I couldn't resist the, mm -hmm. the urge to... <laughs> Duel? Duel. Yeah, I, yeah I think probably shooting them would have maybe been better, but... And then they could have kicked a uh, pillage... Either to, to them or kick it to like them. Maybe. Probably not. Um, Don't they have to be in long range? It's in long range of the unit that gets oh, shot. Oh my, oh, okay. Okay, so what do I have left here? I have 
These three combat yep. units, and that's it. So I'm going to... I think we're going to go with the elephant. Okay. So the elephant's going to charge back into the silence okay. man. Give me that one. All right, got it. So he jumps in there. Four on a three. Uh, so it's going to be five dice. So he's four plus one because you're one right. Oh, okay. So five dice on threes, three rolls, and this just... Okay, so the elephant is charging the soundsman. It has five dice on threes, vicious, and reroll. Not great. So on two hits, reroll these. And then still not great. So uh, total of three. Three? Yep. Man, I still take one. Because I don't, I don't roll for it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, so you don't, you take all of them. No, I take all of them because I don't have hardened anymore. Yeah, don't you have don't have the, the, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you so don't they, have, they quote unquote die. And then now you take a morale test. Um, we can do it in here since the camera's still running. Um, and their morale test is going to be minus two because of Vicious and minus one because of Axel. So a total of minus three. And they're on a five normally? They're on five. So you're going to be at eight. Okay, so they fail, so that's one charge. Okay. And we'll try again. Fail again. Oh, so die roll. Dunzo. They're dunzo. But wait, there's more. Oh no. What is that? They never die. With D3 wounds. Nice. nice. So they get a wound. The guy comes back, yeah. Shocking. The corpse reanimates itself. Just T poses and flats <laughs> up. <laughs> Oh, you know what it was? I took one of the die from the four cursed, mm. and that's probably what. That's what did it. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. That was the elephant. Um, what's our range here? Oh. Just keep pushing these trappers. Yeah. So they're five, right? So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. I think they're like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they need a six unless you've got some other shenanigans. Maybe. Do one because if that's okay. Mm -hmm. you. Sure. Because um, I don't remember that. And we'll go ahead and have him go here. And give out a pillage token. So Eric Armaker taking the letter. Oh, and what is Dead May Never Die attaches to these guys? Oh, the card. Um, you have to stick it on. Well, yeah, just to remind you that if you don't right. have the sword, um, they're going to always have to roll D3 wounds right. before they attack. Or before they do any action. Okay, so I will put the pillage token on these guys, I think. Okay. Uh, when I reduced them down to two ranks, I didn't add a pillage token earlier this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I know I'm like kind of throwing this all on you at once. It's okay. Is that okay if I like yeah, retroactively like put it on them? That's fine. Okay, because then that would make me put it there instead of here. Um, I'm just I totally forget about that mechanic. So in that case, I'll take the letter. I'll put it on trappers, and I'll draw two. And. Put a weaken on the um, light bringers. Okay. Anything else? That's that's it. Okay. Sorry. So I've got these guys to go and the light bringers to go. Um, I will activate the golden company. Okay. Um, start of any turn, I'll do the order for 
the trappers and put a weekend on the Golden Company. It has to be who the, whoever they're engaged with. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. So they are... Okay, so Golden Company are attacking the Silencemen with five dice on threes. Sunday. Nice. All right, not bad. So, four? Yep. You're on and sixes. I'm on sixes. Two wounds. Oh no, sorry, you take uh, one wound. You take, yeah, so you block one plus one for each destroyed rank, so you take one wound. Um, and I, you would, they get a bonus. Oh, you get one, you want to put it on? Well, you failed all of them, right? But you'd still get the token but on yeah, you could put the vulnerable, yeah, you put the vulnerable yeah, token on them. Um, take one wound and then a panic, panic test. Which, You're a, a minus one. Of intimidating presence. Okay, so I just need a six. <laughs> yep. Um, but because of your pillage, yeah. so plus one wounds, so that's two wounds, but your pillage ability right. reduces that by two wounds. Yeah. So live to fight another day. Okay. I think we measured it was going to be a six. It needs to be a six. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'll inch forward. Okay. Two, two inches, inches on those guys. guys. Shift forward two inches. And fire. Spread those cheeks. Spread those cheeks and fly. So four, five, six with three rolls. Hopefully I don't get ones and twos. Like last time. Only two. Well, you hit on fours though, right? Yeah. Okay. Oof. Nice. Okay. So two. And I'm on five, so just shoot me in the back. Nice. So one. Uh, they're not vulnerable or anything. And then panic on a seven. Which will pass. Nice. Okay. Uh, so they take a total of. Just Our light bringers left, and they're just gonna shift back one, and psych cannot shift back one. Well, they'll shift back a half of an inch, so they can still be in range of the trappers. Okay, and they'll shoot the trappers with. So six, six on threes with vicious. Okay, so light bringers are shooting the trappers with six dice on threes and vicious. Okay, too bad. We can use the weakened token. Okay, so three. And you're on, on sixes. <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> Vicious, so seven. Um, yep, seven. All right, just got it. Oh wait, you're. Oh no, you're not panicked. I was looking at the iron makers. Okay. So I have. What does Melisandre give them? They become a R'hllor unit, which they already are, and their melee attacks gain vicious. Okay. Well, I guess I'll... I could charge the swordsman, right? Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't get the charge bonus because of... I'd be... You'd be on the wall, and then I would get plus one. So you'd lose your... Right, your flank charge bonus. Okay. Well, these guys are already defending on a six. So I could just... No, what about these guys? Definitely out of range. Okay, we're out of line of sight. Yeah, I think they're like just... Um, let me uh, try to pass it through both. The question is, do I... I think they're like just out of... 
minus light. Okay, so I'm going to charge the golden company. Yeah, and do I even need to roll this? Okay, so you're good. Um, I'll do the half. Okay. And um, start of any turn, but I wasn't engaged. You were engaged, so yeah. I have to wait till my NCU. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do the six on fours. Okay, so trappers charge the golden company six dice on fours, no rerolls. Not bad. Okay, three. Better than the Bowman. And uh, you ran over the wall, so you don't get a flank. Or you, I get plus one armor. Yeah. Minus one because of the flank. So still I go, I'm still on forward, yeah. But not bad. So I take two. And then panic on a... So they're five with iron resolve. And then stalwart, there are three. You're in my flank, so four. And they're good. Okay, so take two. I'm all activated out. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a oh. on. Oh. Um, they lose black tide and resentment because they restore a wound. I forgot. Oh, from, from the the what the, they the, were Yeah. Okay. And um, okay, so elephant saving on a five right now. For you mean for um, if you have a we do not sew or something? Well, no, like the, I mean that's mm. all I can take is the crown. So just, they're uh, yeah they're saving on a five because of Solis and Shireen. Okay. And, um, so five, five four, four five, five six. six. So five. Three. Oh my god. Five. <laughs> six. Yeah. Okay. Oof. So no panic aroni on them. So I'll go ahead and I'll take that and I'll do the start of any turn order for them to give the Golden Company um, a weaken. Okay. And. Yeah, we'll do the panic bomb on the archers. So on the, these guys? Yeah. Okay. So on, so a, on seven. a seven. Uh, fail. Take two more. Take two wounds. Okay. Is that all you got? Okay. I think I am going to just do the classic and soup these guys up. Okay. Because I have the swords, they don't have to do the D3. Yep. And uh, I'm going to attack the elephant. And because I have the same or fewer ranks, you'll become vulnerable from finger dance. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... So I haven't actually done, yeah, I haven't done anything yet. So I'm going to do the iron price. And that and is on the uh, start of a friendly turn. Okay. Target one from the comet unit, and I'm going to remove both pillar tokens. It says I can choose the same thing more yeah. than once. The, the, yeah, so you can so I'll get four. four. Yeah. Give you a slight taste of that absolutely filthy gray joy regeneration. <laughs> the Baylor, like the Baylor Baron, uh, it's so dirty, just, just disgusting. On That's why I, I honestly wanted to play the other list more. I knew this one was like more like meta, mm -hmm. but I wanted to play the other one because it was just, it was more like high risk, high reward, uh -huh. in my opinion. This one was safer, but and then I'm gonna attack the Oli Font. With 
I only have one rank, so four die. You have two ranks now. Oh, I have two ranks. Because you did, it was a start of friendly turn. The right. Yeah, I'm dumb. So I get five die. Okay, so Silenceman attacking the elephant with five dice, right? Mm -hmm. Let me just go away. Five dice on threes with Sunder. Pretty good. Too bad you don't have the precision or yeah, anything. Yeah. All right. Anything useful at all? I'm on fours and I have a vulnerable token. All right. I'm vulnerable to that. There's a four on the floor, so we're gonna count it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. So two, and he panics on a six, which passes. So just take two. Yeah, the elephant is down to three wounds remaining. Mm -hmm. Or no, sorry, he's at five. Yeah, so three wounds remaining. Okay, so he has eight? He has eight total wounds. Okay. Let's see if I what I have here. It's a how many? Two? Is it okay if I have another one? Yeah, go for it. Probably should have just slapped the golden swordsman instead of the elephant. Yeah. But whatever. <clears throat> just that small part deep inside of me that finds joy in killing the unit that you're really excited to play. <laughs> <laughs> At least the elephant got off. Has gotten up a couple of attacks. He's done a lot of damage. It's just that that combo is like absolutely disgusting to yeah. play against. It's if, like if he had charged into something else, I think he would he would have been he more would have been rolling so far. into the trappers by now for yeah. sure. So I'm like mostly debating what do I do with the bag right now. I mean, I know I, I'll give you a pillage with it, but I need like my my linebackers right now are all like really weak. So. Um, I mean, I, I want to give it to these guys, but I know they have two charges of to the last, mm -hmm. but one charge could very easily go from your first attack here, and the second charge could just very easily go from from that. Or I could fail one charge of to the last, uh, like easily from you shooting me in the rear. Right. And me being on a seven plus morale. Um, All right, uh, so here's what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to take the bag. Okay. I'm going to heal three to these guys. Okay. Remove the weakened. Okay. And then I'm going to influence these guys over here. Okay. I think I'm going to take the silence man and just... Attack the elephant again. Okay. And I will put finger dance, start of a friendly turn on them. Okay. And then is that an order? No. So because I'm attacking, they become vulnerable again due to finger dance, the elephant. But I'm rolling. Okay, so silence men are attacking the elephant. Five dice on threes. No other keywords. Oh, no other. Sundering. Yeah, sundering. Okay. That's all right, pretty good. Okay, so four dice, or four on, sitting on fours now. Is there something? I will vulnerable that? I'm vulnerable that, I know. Finish rolling and slam on this defense. Yes. Oh my Jeez. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the packy and packy dirt. <laughs> Put this uh, activation token out on the side. <laughs> wow, that's lucky. Yeah, it's a good roll. I mean, it's 50% chance per yeah. per die. 
So. I think I'm going to go for Hail Mary here. That's what I like to hear. So I'm going to take Melisandre, put her on the crown. Oh, snap. And I'm going to influence the Golden Company. So they're going to take two wounds. Okay. And they take a panic test. But they are currently at a three plus because they have okay. Iron Resolve and Stalwart. Just oh barely pass over the four. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. So they pass. Um, and we'll do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop them with both uh, panic tests. Just try to get them down and hopefully shake off Baron. Okay. So uh, I'll turn the camera on for these because we'll do two simultaneous ones. So Silence Men are taking two panic tests. We'll do the normal panic test first. So the crown zone panic test at a minus one. Um, it's going to be minus two because of intimidating presence. So seven. seven. There you go. So take three wounds because you don't have any pillage anymore. Right, right. So three wounds uh, because of intimidating presence. And then the Melisandre panic test is going to be minus Eight. three. Right, yeah, minus two from her, minus one from um, intimidating presence. And it'll be plus three wounds. There you go. All right. Yes. All right. For this round. And Baron goes away, thankfully. Okay. Start of a friendly turn. Triggering me, I'm gonna get there. I have so many like start of a friendly turn triggers. Okay. So I'm going to trigger the trapper's order. To give a weekend to the Golden Company. Okay. And then I get a thing because you took the bags, and I forgot to do that at mm -hmm. the beginning of the game. Because. Uh, and then I'm going to put a. I'm going to grab this. Okay. And put a weekend token on. Uh, your stag, or yeah, these guys, light bringers. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna activate the elephant. Okay. It's gonna try to be the hero we need. Okay. And he's gonna attack the silence men, try to stomp Baylor once and for all. Okay. Uh, he's not charging, so he just has his four, four attacks, uh, four dice on threes. So Elephant is going to attempt to stomp Baylor. Uh, four dice on threes. Gets them all. So Harden doesn't come into play. Baylor dies unless you've got, what does Dead May Never Die? Which one is that? Is it that one? <laughs> all right. So you stay in play with D3 wounds. You'll still have to take your panic test, though. Okay. Um, yeah, because I just automatically die. Yeah, so you, and you die to that. So you take, you, you'll you stay alive with D3 wounds. Okay, so I do the D3 wounds to see how many wounds. Yeah, I, or see how many you stay and alive I still with. Take a panic and you still test. take a panic test after that. Okay. Nice. Got lucky. Okay. So three, so take nothing happens to them yet. They take a panic test. Um, he's vicious. Intimidating presence, so uh, minus Nine, three, so you... Five, six, seven, eight? Eight, yeah. Okay. So they die again, because fail it, um, intimidating presence gives you plus one wound. Okay. Okay. I get my first point of the game. Wait, did I just throw two points down there? I think so, because I haven't earned any point from anything else yet. Um, 
And then the elephant gets to surge forth. And methinks, thinks, taking, taking those panic tokens off. off. It's not, not a good choice. Or taking those pillage tokens off. It's not a good choice. Yeah. yeah. For the four wounds. Has Golden Company gone yet? They have not activated yet. Okay. So I don't think I can get in their flanker or anything here. Then the question is, do I even want to? They'll stop with that. Take this. Five wounds with him. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to take the trappers and attack the golden company. Okay. With six on four. Nothing special, except yep. that they're flanking. Okay. Okay, so trappers attacking the golden company. Six dice on fours and the flank. That's pretty good. Not bad. For trappers. Yeah. So four saving on fives. Yeah. Is your my point? So take three. Um, you'll get another pillage. Mm -hmm. And then I am, my morale is going to be a four. Because it's, right now it's a three because of Iron Resolve and Stalwart. And now it's a four. Oh, jeez. Just guys. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> that has happened like five times this <laughs> game. That is insane how many times that has happened. And that was their activation, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Correct. So they've activated. They have not. They have not. I've got both of them and, and you've got Balon. Balon, okay. Which I don't think you'll be able to guess what he's going to do on his turn. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Another reason why it might be worthwhile just to keep three NCUs so that in this situation, I could just block the, the last zone and keep Alon out of the game. Exactly. Yeah. For for at least this round. It, it, it It's just not feasible to play, in my opinion, to play Baratheons with three NCUs. Uh -huh. Without having at least a couple, like at least having... Starting off for sure with an activation disadvantage. Yeah. Unless you have like a couple of Wardens in your list or a couple of Pikemen or something. Like they're so well, like wardens are so useless. Like they're okay on games modes like this where mm -hmm. you just sit and hold an objective, but the odds of getting that and say you get something like Feast for Crows or Fire and Blood, they are they just get kited and die. Yeah, and it's like so frustrating to like play that. But yeah, like Baratheons, I think they excel in putting units like this out there that that survive longer than a warden unit would, mm -hmm. and you're at an activation dis disadvantage, but Baratheon's kind of, their whole vibe is like being outnumbered and, right. and standing resolute and enduring the... Like, you know, the, the, the last and, time I was satisfied with a Warden unit was when you, you were in Dallas and we were at Adams and you had like just a Reaver unit attack them. Mm -hmm. And I had like a week in Tonga and I played it. And, and I, you like, didn't, killed myself. didn't save a single one and did mm -hmm. like six wounds to yourself and died. And I was like, they're amazing. And then every time I've used them since then, useless. <laughs> like, not once. Have it, like, they've just sat there and, like, uh -huh. been ignored. That's been really frustrating. So now I do just slow activation, like, really powerful Baratheons and try and, like, react mm -hmm. to the enemy and outlast because 
it's just too hard to get the advantage with activations or control the NCU board. Yeah. I think it makes the most sense to go with the Kingsman or the Queensman at this point to try to get okay. the Iron Makers down to two ranks. Good luck. Saving on twos. Mm -hmm. You do have they're they have a vulnerable token. You do have a vulnerable token. Um and if you have an hours is the fury, you get that sundering. Yeah. Vicious with the panic. I cannot believe that elephant's. I can't. <laughs> and have four hit points. Yeah, that was like a two attacks, roll. two yeah. sundering attacks. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm gonna go with those guys. Okay. Uh, they're gonna attack the Iron Makers. I do have ours of the Fury, and I have the Crown, so I get two. I'm gonna take the Sundering and Vicious. I won't take the plus one to hit. It's tempting, but I think the Vicious might be more beneficial right now. Okay. Um, so ours is the Fury. You only have four dice. So the Queen's Men attacking the Iron Makers. Four dice on threes with Sundering and Vicious. Nice. Two. And you're going to be on threes. threes. I will vulnerable. Nice. Oh, that's what you like right. to see. Oh, my God. <laughs> there. And Let's then uh, panic on a minus two because of Vicious. So they're at a... What are they at normally? A seven. Carl so they're a five. Then a five. So, so we're they're back to a seven. Back right? to a seven. I will have you re-roll the six. I'll use the panic. Okay. I need a four. Yeah. Oh, oh looks like that was one. Okay, so they just took uh, what was it? Three or two? Two. Okay. Save the panic. Took two. Um, okay. I'm going to activate the Iron Makers mm -hmm. and attack, and you'll get a vulnerable because I have more ranks. Finger dance. Finger dance, and then Black Tide, I will have... I'll probably just do the plus one attack die, plus one to hit. So they're hitting on twos with six, five die, or six, yeah, six die hitting on twos. One auto wound from Carl. Okay, so Iron Makers attacking Queensman, six dice because they have black tide resentment on two plus one auto wound already with Carl. I'll just take that off right now so I don't forget. Uh, Queensman have two remaining rank or two remaining wounds. And then, uh, and they have critical right. blow, right? Yeah. So that is two, four, six. Is this your? Yeah, it's your. Yeah. I don't know why. I just to... Okay, it's six on threes, right? Yeah. You don't have thunder right now, right? Nope. Okay, six on threes. Mm. I save three, take three. So that kills them. They do have two to the last. So they take a morale test. Uh, right now, they are normally a five. They are going to be at a four because they're influenced by Salise and Shireen. And they pass. Okay. So they use one charge up to the last. And you take one wound because of Salise and Shireen. Whenever they pass a morale test, you take one wound. Um, they get their, uh, when you attack them, I get to draw Baratheon Conviction or Justice. Right. I'm going to pull Conviction out of the bag, and let me see what this does again. Okay, so they, they remain in play with one wound, because to the last. There's one I charge of that. Okay, so, um... Remain to play with one wound, because to the last saved them. You used this, right? Correct. 
Uh, no, I did not. You didn't? You, you failed three, so I Okay, it. right, right. Okay. Um, I will play Baratheon Conviction to put two back on them. Okay. So they'll be back to three. And then... Um, you have the crown. You have the crown. All enemies they're engaged with suffer one panic test. So suffer a panic test. I don't think there's any modifiers right now. So I'm just going to... Five. five. Six, Six seven, play after an enemy completes a melee attack it's yeah. it would have been before i um what's the breathing conviction after you pass that's morale after test. i pass the morale test. Yeah. so i guess so technically yeah, now it is like after you've completed a melee yeah. attack so i'll do final strike okay so that would have been three wounds because they were at three they were at three before the attack wound and then two yeah so, so what, you'll hits. take three hits uh, you'll be at minus one because i have the crown so three hits on three okay Back to me, I have the Lightbringers and the Golden Company. These guys have already activated, right? Correct. Okay. So I'll activate the Lightbringers. Okay. They're just slightly out of range. So they're gonna shift forward an okay. inch just so they could be yeah. in range of the um, trappers. Oh God. I'm gonna shoot the trappers with the iron, or not the iron makers, is that what I call them? The uh, Lightbringers. So Lightbringers are shooting the trappers in the flank. Six dice, six dice on threes. Vicious, but they are weakened. Wow. Nice. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a bit better. So, three hits. Okay. And sixes. So sixes. Hey, I'll bad. take one. So take two, uh, and then morale test. Minus three, because of vicious and one and flank. So you'll be okay. on an eight. Eight. Okay, take. Two wounds. Three wounds. Three. Oh, yeah, because you're uh, yeah, intimidating presence. So three. And then the Lightbringers will spread the panic to the Iron Makers, who will have a panic test at a minus two. Okay, so, so Vicious five, carries three. over? It's uh, it's not technically Vicious carrying over, but it says if an enemy, if that enemy fails a panic test, okay. the targeting unit in short range, they have a panic test at so minus two. So they're also at seven. So, yeah. Whew. All right. Um, so they have gone, the Iron Makers went, so you just have these guys to go, right? Mm-hmm. And I just have the Golden Company to go. Yep. So it's my turn. Yep. It's range from the center? Yeah, you have to move. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't think I can. You try to do some counter battery fire over here? Maybe, I'm considering it. I'm seeing what's like the most effective. I think even if I go forward, it's still like farther away. So, so you're, you're 
I mean, you're already in range of shooting them. So yeah, you're talking I about like, shoot possibly them. shooting these guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty much impossible. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to scoot forward and then shoot the... This those are not my dice. Yeah. Shoot the Queensman in the bucks. So let me see if they're actually in the rear anymore. Yeah. Okay. Still in the rear. Okay. Six dice. So uh, Bowman shooting the Queensman in the rear. Six dice on fours with rerolls. That's about right. Four. I am saving on fives. Um, three armor, but in flank fives, I still have a vulnerable token on me. Okay, two. So I'm still alive unless you want to vulnerable those? Yeah. Okay, so. Second charge of um, to the last now. So I'm normally a five. I'm going to be a four because of Salise and Shireen right now. Shooting me in the flank, I'm going to be a six. Okay. Mm. So they fail that. But Salise and Shireen. But. <laughs> but, 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 but. Salise and Shireen, I'm going to use their once per game um, ability to. Keep them in the game with D3 wounds. So they stay in the game with one wound. Um, but There's I still have to take a panic test. Yeah. But so you're at a four. I'm at no, you're, no. At, you're at a six. Yeah. Though. So I still could easily fail this. So I'm in still in the game with one wound. So um, when you were doing your morale test. Mm -hmm. You were taking the rear attack into, because you rolled a five. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to take that into account when you're doing the to the last morale test? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I guess the panic... It, the panic test because be, this is uh, this is where the rear charge comes in. But to the last, right. all it says is you take test. a morale test. Yeah, I don't know because like hmm, that's a good point. I don't even remember what I rolled in the morale test. You got a five. You got a five. Mm -hmm. You got a like a four and a one or something. Like yeah, that. that's a good point. I guess like intimidating presence and stuff would affect that. Right. If I had it. Right. But. but um, I don't know if getting attacked in the back does. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... Because I'm pretty sure that's happened to me, where you've killed me from the flank, but yeah. you didn't get the flank morale bonus because it just it's says... just a morale test. Morale right. test. And then after I pass or fail that, I would still have to take your, like, attack right. uh, morale um, test. So... So I failed... So it was the, to the last that I failed, right? Yeah. So what, you would have. So I think I would have succeeded to the last. To the last. Um, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I think we have played it that way. You yeah, know. I know you have played it that way with me because um, I've I've had that same question. Okay. So we'll do that, and we'll just count the D three as well. You stay in with one moon anyways, so you'll just we'll just play Solis and Train still have their once again ability. Yeah. So with to the last to stay in with one moon. Yeah, but you still so do the panic test. I still do the panic test. You just don't use the sleeves and shreds yeah. yet. So yeah, if they it. fail, you could then use it. It's in like the middle. I got it. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So I still do panic test, um, which is going to be five, four, five, six. Yeah. So six. Which I still fail. Okay. Okay. So, so now, now I'll use Salise and, Salise and Shireen with D three wounds. And it's just <laughs> three okay. for three. That's, on the that's insane. Okay. Your your D threes do not. Lie. Yeah. These guys really want to be like oh, they really are ready to go to that that uh, great bonfire in the sky for their. <laughs> yeah. 
final guy is just T-posing, waiting for the embers to catch mm -hmm. below him, and it's, like, not catching. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Um, so it's back to me because that was your attack, right? That was their yep. activation. I just have the Golden Company to go? Correct. So they're going to face you. Oh my god. And then I'm just going to swing, I guess, because I don't have anything else to do here. They'll. What do they attack on one rank? Four. That's so they're bad. four and threes, but they're going to be four on fours because of disrupt. Correct. Yeah, forgot about that. And uh, I'm weakened also, so I'll be lucky to get a hit through here. Um, honestly, <laughs> well, that may be all you need. That's all I really need because yeah. I might be able to vicious you an intimidating presence yeah. you to death. So, we'll so Golden Company are attacking the trappers. Do four you, dice. Think you have vicious? I oh, have it because, because of Melisandre. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So four dice on fours because you have disrupt. No rerolls and I'm weakened. That's what I want to see. Okay. I'll, so, uh, we can all that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys have not forsaken you. <laughs> Alright. Two. I think that might be enough, hopefully, to get one wound through. Never know. There we go. Okay, so two, and then you take a panic test on a minus three, because of Vicious and Intimidating Presence. So I'm on eight. You're on, yep. Back to Trapper's original eight. I'm just going to take a smoke break. That's not what I need. All right, so there are toes. So. And these guys will use that. I'll get point number two. Um, so they can scoot back here. All right, I'm going to measure something here. Mm -hmm. So if I scoot back there, just enough to be in it. Let me see what I would need to roll to get into these guys. So there are five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need a six to get into the Iron Makers. Um, but I'm down to one card, and I, I draw two next turn. And I do have Axel Florence Fiery Charge that I could draw, because stranger things that. happen. So that's what they're going to do. I'm going to take the guaranteed point, okay. and I'm going to scoot them back. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So they're going to scoot back to control that point for this turn, okay. or this round. And uh, that's... All I've got. Okay. And I think you, you have Balon yet to go. I do. I hope to. Um, so we're going to do Balon. Okay. Uh, yep. So end of round. I think I get to heal here. So when you score points from this objective, one friendly unit in long range of the unit controlling this objective restores one wound plus one for each of its destroyed ranks. So, um, oh, um, I think I will play a start of a friendly turn. So when I do that, oh. NCU. Oh, you mean you're going back to the? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, like, like when, when I placed Balon. Uh huh. If that's okay. If not, depends. What is it? It's iron price. That's the uh, you take off. Yeah. So tokens. I'll make them weaker, but I'll put four wounds on them. Okay. Yeah. I guess I could put on. But it has vicious. So if it charges, but it can't charge without hitting, so it won't have re rolls. Mm -hmm. And they, yeah, I think I just have to do it because I don't get to roll defense anyways, so the pillage tokens don't matter. Do they? Nope. 
what would you do? Would you keep your pillage to have the two saves, or would you get the four health for your iron price? Um, so let's say, like, what's the worst case scenario? Your worst case scenario is he makes the charge, rolls. He rolls all of his dice. Yeah. And that's four, five, six. So that would kill him, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you restored two wounds and kept one in case of being attacked by something else, but then you're going to take a minus three panic test to the mm -hmm. um, because of the rear or the flank, yeah. which could possibly kill you. So if you if it was me, I would take the guarantee of like four health. Four health, but you're going to lose that. Um, right. And which then, is pretty nice. Yeah. So that'll go there. And let's say worst case scenario, I hit. Now I'm going to be. Vicious from, from the flank, so I'd be at a an eight, and then I get one more attack die because you restore up to third third rank. Mm -hmm. So I would get seven attack dice, right? Yeah. Um, which let's say I hit all of them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a vicious panic test. Okay. So yeah. I think I'm gonna just do it's it. It's kind of yeah, it's. If that's okay. Yeah. I, I meant to do it. I just like got really carried away with the whole deployment thing. Mm -hmm. Did we, uh, we used that, right? Cause I think they rolled, I think we used that. They had rolled a, uh, I didn't think I, no, I didn't, didn't? because, because they failed enough, like three of the five okay. attacks. Um, but I mean, even if you take it away, they're going to get it again from finger dance. So. Okay. So, yeah. I've had Lash Out for like four turns, mm -hmm. but you haven't done a lot of damage. And when you have, you've just one shot my unit. <laughs> and I like need them to survive. So it's pretty much useless at this point. Because Lash Out says if they, if they survive, which they, if they survive and with like X ranks lost, mm -hmm. And Black Tie got one shot, basically. I don't know. I forgot to use it. I probably should have used it at some point, but. Okay, so now we're on round five. So I'm going to heal. So I get to heal from this one here. And mm -hmm. it says, one friendly unit in long range of the unit controlling this objective restores one wound plus one for each of its destroyed ranks. So it doesn't say one other unit. It says in long range of the unit, so that includes this unit. Okay. So I would, I'm going to restore wounds to them. I would like to restore wounds to the elephant, but he has no ranks missing technically, so all I would do is restore one. Okay. Um, so I'm going to restore three then to these guys. I will do a start of any turn. Finally draw an oath of duty. I'm just gonna throw it on these guys. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're the least likely right now to, to be obliterated off the map in one attack. Um, and then we're gonna get Stompy the elephant and he's gonna go for the dream. Stompy is going to play Fiery. Fiery charge. <laughs> so when a friendly unit is performing a charge action, but before resolving that action, that unit becomes vulnerable. So he becomes vulnerable. Automatically counts as rolling six on all charge distance dice. And any enemies they successfully charge become panicked. So he will okay. charge you in the flank. And then you become panicked. And I'll roll for the charge to see if I get rerolls, which I won't even get because I'm going over the wall. Roll to five, so it doesn't matter. Um, you have three ranks, so he is now rolling seven, seven dice. Fully erect. Yep. Okay, so elephant is rolling seven dice on threes with no rerolls. 
that's what I like to see. So just four, missed two. So you take four auto wounds. And I'm panicked. And you're panicked. Oh, look. Was that three or four? It was four. Okay. Four total Oh, wounds. yeah, I had one in the third rank. Yeah. Um, and your panic on a minus three. So you're eight. Eight. I'll leave. Looks like I take uh, two more. Okay. I will use Lash Out. Um, the defender was not destroyed. The attacker suffers two wounds. Two wounds for each of the defender's destroyed ranks. Okay, so he takes four wounds. Yeah. Which kills him. I didn't read that last part of the card. That's pretty strong. I thought it was just two wounds. Like, yes, two, yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty crazy. Two wounds, yeah, six wounds total. That's insane. Mm -hmm. This was, I think, the elephants. I think, yeah, it's definitely been used. It might have been. Okay. Oh, and Oath of Duty, I get an order on it. Not that it's going to matter. <laughs> Unit suffers minus one wound from failing a panic test. If I have the crown, each time it attacks, the defender gains a yeah. uh, condition token. I th so you've used Shalice and Serene's ability, yes. right? Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and kill the Queensman with the... Uh... Okay. Pretty good chance. Yeah. Okay. So if you're de you're declaring an attack, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pull a card out of my discard. Okay. So yeah, six on fours with three rolls. Six. Um, so you restored wounds with um, Iron Price, so you lose that. Right. And they're already vulnerable, um, so Finger Dance doesn't matter right now. I just used this order. I'm attacking with the Bowman. Oh, you're attacking with the Bowman? I yeah. thought you were attacking with the... Uh, no. Okay. Attacking with the Bowman, okay. So, so if I was attacking with them, them, well, that's a good point. Because if I was attacking with them, it'd just be an auto wound. We wouldn't even need to do this whole song and dance. Yeah. Because of Carl. So let me see. I guess you could take the bag. Okay, I think you're right. I think I have to attack with these guys to just get the auto wound. Okay. Do you want to like roll? Is there like mm, I don't cards, think there's any like consideration. No, I mean, no. There's like nothing I Final can Final strike or do that. No. Okay. So they just die. Okay. I apologize. I hate playing against auto wound <laughs> stuff. And then they will turn like so. Okay. Take a point. Okay, so that's their activation. These guys still have to go. And archers. Archers and all of our NCUs. Okay, I'm gonna take Melisandre. Oh no. You guessed it. Don't do it to me. She's going to the bag. Oh my god. Oh. They're gonna restore three. She's gonna restore three to the Golden Company. Okay. She's going to influence the Golden Company. We're gonna take two wounds and they take a panic test. Um, but with uh, Iron Resolve and Axel, they're on a 3+. plus. Okay. So they pass. And where's my hand? And I'm going to play Baratheon Conviction. So when a friendly unit passes a morale test, they restore two wounds. Okay. So they're going to get those two guys back. 
And then we're going for Carl. Uh, Melisandre's going to panic him. Okay. At a minus two. Just Carl? Just Carl's unit. Well, just Carl. Okay. Yeah. I, ideally, I would like that guy. So, a seven, that. and they are panicked. Yeah. So, so okay. I it's will have you... Roll as possible. Um, do I risk all of it, or... I mean, let's just video this. So, roll. initial roll. You're panicked. Um, definitely have you reroll that. And the question is, do I risk... I guess we're just gonna go for it. I'll have you reroll both of them. It's a fifty percent the chance. Thing. Yeah, just end this. Are you sure? Doesn't really matter what you roll on that actually, because you get plus two wounds anyway. So, um, so they fail and die. Oh my god! Unless you got something else. What is dead? <laughs> <laughs> that I slide of handed back into my deck. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. That's... Yeah, I probably I got really just like the idea of killing the Queensmen after attacking them probably twelve <laughs> times like got me too excited. Yeah, I really should have denied, denied you the bag, bag but uh, uh, here I am. You know, it is what it is. You have no excuse because you were most familiar with Brat, more familiar with them and their shenanigans than I am. It's true. But it's true. You know, it can be irresistible when you are looking at a impossible to kill unit that has one one wound left yeah. on it and has already expended all of its tricks. Oh my god. I will do this guy. Eric oh, Ironmaker. Oh, and you got a pillage because I put a did you already take the pillage because I took the bag? No, I didn't. I guess he'll give one to them. Yep. And we'll go ahead and just maneuver. With the bowman? Yeah. Well, do I play smart here? Do I play like a degenerate? Is this yours? Yeah, this is mine. Oh, wait. Um, oh, it's finger dance. It was yeah. my old card. Okay. I have my hand exposed over here. <laughs> <laughs> I've memorized it. Okay, well then I'm just going to. Sorry to do this to you. I really wanted to attack the life bringers, <laughs> which I still could, but the odds that to I play bring to them down with a six. Mm -hmm. and six and rerolls. Well, the way you have to think of it though, like you're going to get the same number of points by sitting on that objective as you exactly. would by killing them. And, and but there's could, no chance to that failing. Yeah. So I'll just do that, take the free maneuver. Okay. So I've got one NCU and my two combat activations. I could just, yeah, I'm not gonna, I could just maneuver on the thing. Yeah. That would just like safely yeah. get a point. Yeah. Safely just win the game. But uh, look, we're here to we're here to roll dice. I care more about having fun than just taking the I guess I'll activate the Golden Company. Okay. Let's see what this token is so I don't drag it around. And they're going to just maneuver. And just be as far away from the silenced men as possible. Okay. Let me double check something though, real quick. Okay.
I mean, the odds of me killing your unit are zero. You still have Baron and Harden, so. Yeah, I was about to play Baron. So, um, yeah, they're just gonna sit back here. We can let him, you know, do a final charge if you're up for it. Nah, it's all right, Let's, we'll play this, we'll play this smart. Well, even if I charge them, you'd have to kill them to win. If you, charge, think, if you charge me? Yeah, because I'd still get one point from over there. Yeah. And you'd get one point. So you well, you, you would almost certainly reduce my ranks. And then oh, I would, right. it would be contested, so I wouldn't get this point. Okay. So it's either neither of us get a point this turn from these two, or we both get a point this turn. Either way, it's the same, essentially. Let's let's roll some dice. Okay. I want to draw some tactics cards, see if I can get anything spicy. So I'll get two. Wow, that's, that's insane. Where was that Black Tide Conviction? I needed that, like, <laughs> two turns, turns ago. ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, oh, and... Uh, place any condition, I will go ahead and put a vulnerable on them. Okay. It's basically impossible, even with a panic token, to like get any use out of the panic test on those guys. That's insane. On who? Axel. Oh, Axel, with, yeah. With, with the Iron Resolve, Resolve is, like, yeah. disgusting. They have better... They have better morale than, like, a dragon or... I think these just, like, hard-ass, like, mercenaries that have been in the <laughs> deserts, like, see, it's well, they're, just, like, pompous. So they're super hard mercenaries who are also drinking the Kool-Aid of, of the Lord of Light. That's, that's true. That's, that's yeah. why they're so okay. crazy. All right. Well, I'll give it to you. Okay. So they've gone. I have Solis and Shireen. Um, but what am I really going to do with her? Or them? I'm gonna see how close I can get to these bowmen. Okay. Pivot. And they're going to march or maneuver. take oh are they in range right now if they were to shift two inches oh they are okay i'm gonna maneuver these guys okay to get just barely out of range all right just got salise and shireen okay. um all they can really do is go in the crown Okay. And they'll influence these guys. You don't want to deny me the sword? I mean, you can't do anything with it. Unless you have a uh, assault orders and you're playing Victorian. Well, I still get to activate them. Oh. Um, I thought they'd already activated. But I said that because I have the Kraken's Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> so I either get one Chungus attack or uh -huh. I get two attacks. It's up to you. <laughs> so you need like a five to charge in here. Yeah, babe. Oh. Well, you'll, you'll leave the crown? Well, I mean, I can... The thing is, like, you don't drop... This isn't like a, a game where you drop the objective. When you fail a panic, you fail a panic test. test yeah. So, like, all I'd be doing is possibly taking off three wounds from you, which okay. isn't anything. So, um, I guess just... Possibly, if you get a five or six to deny you the ability to attack me again, I guess I'll just I'll take the sword. So I can. I'm I'm talking all this up, and then I'm just gonna roll like a one, a one on this charge yeah. right now. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. So what you measured it out? And I think I, you need a five or six. Let me. Let's see here, closest point. I mean, you just, could just need to trade. You can't it. really pivot because you pivot off the board. Yeah. So. Um, just need a one, four, two, three, five. four, five. Yeah, five. All right. For all those Peggy marbles. Thought it was a lot closer, actually. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, do I not have that card anymore? I don't know who would do that. Aaron. So you need a five or a six. <laughs> One. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So you move forward six inches. <coughs> you want me to just move you? Dead. Yeah. I didn't take a panic test. Um, I think we did. We drag this thing. Good. It's like six inches out and six inches up from here. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You passed. Uh, passed your oh. panic. Still have this. These guys? Oh, yeah. All right. So they're plus one morale from Salise and Shireen, uh, minus one wound from failing panic test because of uh, Oath of Duty. So they're going to be a five plus. <clears throat> Got it. Or is it? It's still six because I have a minus one, right? Oh, right. Yep. So six. But you uh, still get. Yep. You still roll an eight. Okay. So they're good. Do you want? Baron Black tied on the swords just to deny you two attacks on them, so it'll be mono a mono. Okay. I'll take Salise and Shireen. I'll put them on the horse. I'll. Influence these guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to maneuver these guys. So if I have more ranks than you, then you lose control of that objective? Right. Okay. Let's see if I can get on here. Okay. I will place the Iron Maker on this. Yeah, this is like a good, good condition token. Mm -hmm. And so I'll do a uh, weekend on um, the Golden Company. Okay. I'll play Stag's Wit. Oh. Finally drew one. Damn it. I'm going to take the vulnerable off. Oh my god, okay. Oh wait. So this is when a friendly unit gains a condition token, remove that token. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll take the weekend off. Now. Okay. I'll take Melisandre. Oh no. I'm going to put her in the bag. <coughs> and... So let me th think about this for a second. So... If I try to panic these guys, and you like crit fail everything, and if I put her on the crown instead, if I crown zapped them and they took three, that would be three, and then if I mel bomb them, that'd be three plus two, so they have no chance of killing them. Um, so I'll just put her on the bag. Heal up and yeah, take that off. Do the kill these guys to full silence men. <clears throat> well, I can't influence, so I can't influence them because they already have a friendly influence. Um, you may have them suffer two wounds. Minus two to their roll, plus two wounds on failure. <laughs> So you'll survive. <laughs> he 
him with a critical failure. He goes still These guys. Life. <laughs> yeah, so two critical failure. I'd have one. <laughs> and I highly doubt these guys would be able to get to that. Nah, not... So yeah, they'll I'll influence these these guys. Okay. I've got nothing to lose. Um, they take two wounds, and then panic on a six, which they pass. So they're good. And then um, influences them. And then I'll try to whittle these guys down and maybe take a couple dice off of their attack. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm on a seven. In here. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to play Wait. something? No. Um, so yeah, panic test minus two. Yep, seven. Fail. Um, take plus two wounds. So this is a one. Take three. But you have one pillage, so you only take two. Okay. But you lose Baron. So I'm going to charge with them. Okay. There we go. Good. And we're going to play uh, Kraken's Wrath to get precision. And you become panicked. Okay. <clears throat> so precision and panicked. Okay. Yeah. So silencemen attacking the Golden Company. Seven dice on threes with sundering and precision. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three rolls. Not a single. Odd one. All right. I'll take seven. Seven. I'm on fives now. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, so I miss five. And then I am panic on a you're not vicious, right? Nope. But you're you have one panic or you have one pillage token, so you're radiating a minus one aura on me. Yeah. So I'm normally a three. Um, with Celeste and Shireen, I go to a two, and now you bring me back to a three. So I'm on a three. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and good. panic call her. Okay. With the three and the two. Three and two, leave the two. Gonna go for the snake eyes. Okay. I'm just <laughs> like, I think I might have a car here. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna play Fiery Resolve. Okay, this was a before rolling dice, um, but it, I don't think it matters here. Um, so if I resolve, when a friendly unit is performing a panic test before rolling di dice, if this targets a Relore unit, it suffers three wounds if they fail the panic test. If this unit passes this test, target one enemy they're engaged with for each wound it would have suffered, that enemy suffers one wound. Okay. So, I meant, so yeah, I thought this was funny. Two yeah, wounds. So I would have suffered two wounds, so you suffer two wounds instead. Okay. Oh, um, they passed their their morale test. Okay. So you take one wound from Celise and Shireen also. Okay. Yeah, so I guess they're just going to attack. The Golden Company will attack. So they're... Um, <clears throat> Five dice on threes. Yeah, something. Okay, so Golden Company is attacking the Silencemen with five dice on threes. Sundering. Alright, so three on sixes. Nice. So block one, hardened blocks one, plus one. For um, reduced strength, for the short so take zero. Okay. And then um, I'll do lash out. Okay. Should take you down four. You only have one destroyed rank. Right. Oh, sorry. I thought it was two plus each. Nope. So yeah. So it's just two. And you become panicked again. 
from Lashout? Mm -hmm. If it's uh, if Baylor, it's Baylor, Baylor Virginia. Virginia. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'll place Baylon here. Okay. And I will play We Do Not Sew. Okay. Um, if you control the bags, I restore one wound. Plus one for each rank I have. So, two wounds. Uh, so I'll be rolling my full attack die value. Now, um, bless with stone, bless with steel. It says when a friendly combat unit activates. Mm -hmm. So I can't use this. Yeah, because this isn't their activation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do seven die sundering. Okay. Silence Moon attacking the Golden Company again. Seven dice on threes with sundering. So four. Mm -hmm. I'm on three. I'm on uh, fives. fives. Mm. Nice. Pretty good there. So take one. That's enough to drop me to one rank. And then I take a panic test on. Um, well, you don't get the panic. You don't get the pillage token until the rank. Or did you already put that from the last attack? No, I just put that from from the last attack. You're gonna take one wound. Well, did you? But I already lost a rank from the last attack, right? I didn't put it there. But I mean, you should have put it there after the last yeah, attack, right? Yeah. Okay. But I didn't. Okay. So that radiates a minus two aura on me. Okay. So I would be a two plus, but now I'm a four plus. Oh man. Okay. Freaking crazy. All right, we're gonna reroll everything. <laughs> okay, all of it, even the yeah. three. Yeah. Okay. All right. Still pass. I take one wound. And I passed my morale test, so you take one wound. Oh no. hit me because of hardened right but then you had the morale test that you passed like the damage yeah and then you used lash okay so all i got is the bowman and they're just going to march up here take that and just face your bowman stare at them angrily yeah okay that's it so just me. barely squeak by the w yeah if uh so let's see so you score one over there, mm -hmm. so you get that. I score the center objective, which gets me to six. And then if I had one more, if I had one more model over here, <laughs> I would have, we would have tied it. Yeah. And then it would have gone to, I guess, kill points or something. This list achieved most of what I wanted it to. I didn't end up taking the win, but it was a lot of fun to play and to put up a good fight. I was truly shocked at how much abuse my Queen's men were able to endure on my right flank. They got shot at by the bowmen at least once per round every round until they died, and were fighting the Iron Makers at the same time. It took three killing blows to take them off the table. Between their own two charges of To the Last and the Necessary Sacrifices ability of Solis and Shireen. Given their position on the battlefield, I'm not sure what else I could have done with them besides what I did, which was to tie up two of Trent's activations most of the game. On my left flank, it took far longer than I would have liked for my Golden Company units to kill off the Silence Men. This game just proved how powerful the Baylor, Silence Men, Blind Baron combo is. Trent added the, the Baylon NCU ability to that combo to bring that nightmare back all over again. I love Lightbringers, but I didn't get as much use out of them in this game as I had hoped. I was hoping to chain panic tests around Trent's frontline all game, but all of his melee units had 5 plus morale, making them very tough panic targets. Fortunately, I was reliably able to strip Baron's influence off the Silence Men often enough to do some lasting damage. Unlike my previous War Elephant game, the Elephant was able to do some decent damage this game. I was especially happy that he was able to get a flank charge into the Iron Makers, 
albeit before being brought down by a latch out. In round five, the game was pretty much decided. Trent was up by one point after finishing off my Elephant and Queensman, and his Bowmen were safely out of range of my Lightbringers for the round, meaning they would score a point and increase his lead. If I was able to get the Horse Zone, I may have been able to maneuver my Lightbringers forward and then march them into the center objective, bringing us closer in points. But, as is usually the case, I couldn't resist the urge to throw dice and try to kill an enemy unit. I was banking on Trent not activating the Bowmen after my Lightbringers, which would have allowed me to take the Sword Zone, shift, and shoot into the Bowmen's rear, possibly taking them down one to one rank and setting up for a kill shot in the next round. Trent saw this coming, however, and used his next activation to maneuver his Bowmen onto the objective and out of range of my Lightbringers. I had a great time in this game, and it made me wish my Baratheons were higher in my painting queue, because I'd like to play them again soon. This was only Trent's first or second time playing Greyjoys, but he did a great job. He's played against my Greyjoys for many months, so he obviously learned quite a bit from being on the receiving end of them. For as much as I advised him against taking a Reaver Captain and his Bowmen, the outflank worked out very well in this game. The Bowmen were able to shoot my Queensmen in the rear constantly throughout the game, chipping away at them and causing an otherwise nigh unkillable unit to finally go down. They technically died three times, but I expended my Solis and Shireen Resurrect ability on the Queensmen when I had planned to use it on my War Elephant to resurrect him as a R'hllor Elephant. The Silence Men really carried this game for the Greyjoys, tying up most of my offensive power for the majority of the game, and then being resurrected once they finally did go down. I hope this game, while very long, was as entertaining to watch as it was to play. It's always great when a game is so close in the end. It doesn't get much closer than one wound being the deciding factor between a tie and a loss. In all fairness though, if Trent had decided to just camp his silenced men on an objective at the end of the game instead of making a crowd-pleasing charge into my swordsman, he could have more easily won. And that's all for this battle report. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. With that, this is Randall from Imperial Minis, signing off.